disappointed in that we didn't really do the things that I think a good football team should do. Way too many penalties, and they were unforced penalties. Alignments on a punt team, and you know, illegal shift on offense, alignment on offense, just some things of that nature that are, that are unforced. That put in a mental mental error category for our team. All correctable, but certainly not things that, that um, you want to have in a game. Not things I anticipated happening, quite frankly, in this game. We never seem to quite get on schedule on offense and put ourselves in a box. First down, it was always second and long, and then it was it was third and long, and then they were coming after us, and we had a hard time um, with, with our, our normal protections. We had to go to a, a full slide protection, and that kept the back end, so it became three-man routes, which we knew we would have to have in this game plan because of the pressure they bring. We were, in, we were into that much earlier than I wanted to be into that. Um, so, so those things really put us in a bind. I thought our defense, particularly in the first half, played really well. I mean, it's 10 to 3. Um, Got a chance going to half, 10 to three, and then give a big play. And then came out in the second half, and I thought we're fighting them. I, I thought our effort on our team was really good. I, I don't doubt our players' effort. It's our execution that suffered greatly and in the course of this game. Oh, somebody's out of tape. <laughs> and um, that put us in a bind, and we've never dig out of it. Disappointed in the outcome. Uh, I know our players are disappointed in the outcome, but, but as I told them, I'm, more importantly, I'm disappointed in not doing things that good teams do. If we're going to be a good team, we have to do those things. Uh, that being said, I'll take your questions. How big was the, the first half when they scored right at the end, that one minute? Uh, yeah, I thought that? that was a huge thing, very huge, because now it's 10-3, to 3, we're going to have the ball to start the second half. So with all the things that we had done, not really well to run offense in the first half, um, shooting ourselves in the foot with some penalties, we still would have had a chance to be open. It's 10-3 with the ball. I know the defensive numbers don't look very good, but they did have some pretty big plays. Well, they did, and, and you know, our, our game plan going in was obviously we felt they didn't hand it to De Leon, and we were going to tackle them. And, uh, we had under 100 yards rushing. Um, so that part of the game plan, that part of what we, we, did, we wanted to do on offense um, was successful. And then we gave up, you know, a couple, couple plays that you don't want to give up. And, and uh, they, they are going to, certainly they're a much better football team, Syracuse is, than they were a year ago. Like Doug certainly has that program heading in the right direction. And, um, I'm sure they'll go out and, and uh, play number of games. What was your feeling on the field goal, uh, you know, fourth and one or one yeah. and a half? Uh, it was 17-3. Oh, okay. And I felt at that time to make it 17-6, all right, and, and, and give ourselves a chance um, in the third quarter, maybe 11 points down, and keep fighting the way our defense was playing. I thought that that would. Um, it's really a two-score game then. It's a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So that was my thinking behind that. Uh, Coach, you had like about three or four chances on fourth and short first half and second half before the block field goal. Each time you decided to kick, is that kind of your philosophy? Well, my philosophy is that it depends how the game is done. And a couple of those were at a point where I thought if we punted it, you know, one time, a couple times we had the wind at our back. So if like punting it, getting it down, pinning them down, where defense was playing would be to our advantage. So I felt like the game could go like that a little bit. At least my expectation was it could go like that a little bit. So that was my thoughts behind behind it. How did you see the uh, block kick? Did you have a good look at it? Um, I didn't have a good look at it. It came from our, our double wing side. Um, looks like maybe one of our wings you know, moved it, you know, got, mm -hmm. turned his shoulders, whatever. I'll watch that in the morning tomorrow, but I can't. Um, those, things, those things you really you know, shouldn't have. Uh, how, how big did you, you know, did you sense that on your sideline? Did that play kind of? Well, I didn't sense that because it, 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 did, it did put them up 23 to 3. And, and uh, um, so I think, you know, you're going from a seven, you're going from a chance to be 17 6 to down down 23 3. That can take some wind out of your sails. But it still felt like, you know, we kept slugging away. And uh, we did get some first downs after that. Did get a few things a little bit on offense after we went to a no huddle. And I thought our defense kept playing. Rob, you were talking on Tuesday about your concern about the momentum swings, and that was a momentum swing. It was swing. a huge momentum swing. Yeah. And have, did the team respond the way you wanted them to, or is it going to be a learning process? I think it's going to be a continuous learning process uh, for us to do that. I didn't, I didn't see in their faces uh, you know, the wind come out of their sails. I certainly didn't see that, and I was looking for that, look, looking for any indications of that happening. I didn't, I didn't feel that. I felt like we kept we kept playing and competing, and our coaches felt the same way. 
we just the difference between playing and competing and playing, competing, and executing. We missed out tonight with the execution. Was there anything that you could take out of this game on the positive side, well, especially on the offense? Well, I think, yeah, there's a bunch we can take. First of all, we, we got a chance to play a different opponent. You know, we got a chance to see kind of where we're at. And you know, sometimes you might not like what you see right, when we watch this film, but we got a chance to see where we're at. And you ought to make your most improvement as a team when you first came to your second. Right? And after we watch this film on Monday, my expectation is that we're going to be a much improved football team from this, and we, and we need to be. Coach, three turnovers to zero. Not many times in the football game. Yeah, that's. We talk about we talk about the turnovers a bunch. I'm pleased that we didn't turn it over. We didn't throw an interception. We didn't we didn't fumble it. I'm very pleased on that. Um, but what cost us was the fact that we, we put ourselves in such a big hole uh, with our down and distance, and uh, so we couldn't overcome the. We couldn't take advantage of those. We'd like to take advantage of it. Even when we had the, uh, um, the play we ran down and we had first and 10 at the end of the first, you know, with a minute 39 left, I think it was, um, we threw the ball three times and we just couldn't convert any of those passes. And I thought it was set up the right way. And we just, for whatever reason, we couldn't, we couldn't hit them. But it was, it just seemed like we had um, a breakdown of certain, one spot here, one spot there on, on every play. And uh, when you do that, you're going you're gonna to struggle at all. Nicely. You know, I thought Patrick did some, made some good reads out there. I also thought he missed some throws. I think he'll learn greatly from this from this um, from this video. Uh, he's our quarterback. At no time did I ever think of him not being our quarterback. And um, he's going to continue to grow and get better with this, and he'll learn greatly from this uh, video. So, you knew there was going to be growing pains. Is it still hard to accept when you see something yeah, it's, like it's, this? It's, uh, growing pains, sure, but it's not accepted. We're not going to, our expectations for our program are very high. Um, and whether we have growing pains or not, the expectation is that we've got to work through this. So we have high expectations for our, for our program, for our team, for our players. And we're going to continue to have those every day. Your running game uh, seemed like that was kind of... Yeah, that was just, that, that, yeah, it, it, you know, we ended up rushing for you know, 55 yards. That was a net, and then obviously there will be some things that can't come out of that. We had too many lost yardage plays, but we had some missed cuts. I thought we, we had some things that you know, I thought we'd run it better. But, but they had a lot to do with that. And then us getting off schedule, you know, put us in some difficult situations. I think it all comes down to um, when you're first and ten, you want to be at second and six. And when you're, you, when you want to be at third down and two or three, and then your, your, your chances of moving the chains and keeping things going um, increase greatly. And we weren't in that situation.